like, you know, man, you got to have somebody in your in, around you in your life, like some real homies around you, some real niggas around you that's going to tell you, hey, man, you know, you know, don't 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 do that. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying like we gonna handle this did a different way or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and like Zoe was 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 that to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, and, and, you know, I talked to a lot of other cats um, like like I was at um, I was at rap a lot uh, with Lil J. Yeah. I think I was like maybe 22, 23. Yeah. And this fool called uh, Larry Hoover yeah. on the phone, right? And I'm like, you know, he put Larry on the phone. <laughs> he put Larry on the phone, right? And my dumb ass like, yeah, Larry, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, anything, you know, you, you know, you, you know, whatever you need, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you need me to, you know, right, handle right. some business for you, man, you right, know what right. I'm saying? You know, my dumb ass, it's, it's good. Let me know what it is. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. like, you know, and he told me he like he like spice man do your do music. your music man yeah. you know like just do just do your music yeah, that's so what we need so then little little D told me the same thing you know yeah. what I'm saying so hearing it from them you know they they, they kind of you know y'all kind of saved my life you know what I'm saying as far as me doing dumb shit you know what no, I'm saying it ain't kind of we had too short here the same thing and I asked him being around all them gangsters. Mm -hmm. How did you end up not getting caught up into that? And he let us straight know, man, that them niggas was would have whooped my ass. Them niggas wasn't they letting was telling me. telling him like, nigga, hey, yeah. you them know what I'm saying? wasn't letting me do that, though. You know what I'm saying? And segueing in, we're going to get off that for a second. Hopefully everybody learned the lesson one-on-one -on, -one on how to handle your business when it comes to this music business. You know, business yeah, first, yeah. be patient. You know what I mean? Make sure that all your, your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. And then... Make sure that you, you, you know what's going on before you start doing it. All paperwork, make sure you read it and let, let, let uh, understand what the bottom line is. You know what I mean? And then you're going to get your just due and then you're going to be able to be really successful. Now, yeah, because they're, they're going to put shit in the contract that, you know, they, they put the contract, you know what I'm saying? Make a contract in layman's terms, you know. Right. <laughs> make give me a two, a two fucking two or three page contract. Don't give me no damn book, you know. So yeah, 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 just yeah, make yeah, sure y'all get some shit y'all can understand. You know, even a lawyer can tell you. No. Right. Listen. So, in your in, in the, a few times, man, it was you know a lot of tension in um, the Bay Area with mm -hmm. with rap groups. You had got into it. You had got into it with Too Short, the Dangerous Crew. One time, no. What was that about? When the, uh, at the players' ball? Yeah, yeah. We just <laughs> talk about that. Uh, yeah. We, I mean, you know, it was a misunderstanding. You know, I, I didn't know that that the homie was. Uh, I didn't know that was. Man, it was like some um, inside family shit because I didn't know that who motherfuckers was. You know what I'm saying? I just came up there, and you know, I just you know one of the one of the motherfuckers just uh, started talking to me and shit, and you know. And I just, you know, the things that a motherfucker said, I just wasn't feeling that shit. You know what right. I'm saying? So I was kind of like, man, you know, I, I'm from Hayward, man. So I already got a complex. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm already like, you know, like y'all niggas think I'm finna be some kind of sucker because I'm from Hayward, nigga. I, I kill everybody up in this motherfucker. You know right. what I'm saying? Who the fuck? Yeah. So, you know, and, and, and it makes you act a fucking fool because... You know, you, you you flip the fuck out because you because because I'm from Hayward, nigga, nigga. Hold on, nigga, let me let me blow this nigga shit back so yeah. so they understand and leave me the fuck alone out of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I flipped out. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, and you know, it was a big ass fight, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas getting knocked through windows and crazy shit. You know. And, you know, I, I had some North Richmond niggas with me. You know, I had the 187 fact with me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. And it was like maybe five or six of us. You know what I'm show saying? Show around. And yeah, show around everybody with yeah. us. I mean, we, we can't handle like 40, 30 niggas. You know what I'm saying? But it was us fighting us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, you called me. <laughs> you called me. It sounded like your gun was still smoking. Yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> hey, them niggas tried to jump me. I was so, bad. So, man, them niggas tried to woo. I just shot. I said, you shot. <laughs> I, I talked to the nigga said he shot somebody. I was like, you ruined it for us all. <laughs> like, it's over. <laughs> I would have just now been getting out and shit. Like, <laughs> Yeah, if any, motherfucker, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so y'all end up, that that whatever happened with that, you guys end up coming back together and getting an understanding. Yeah, I figured out it was it was the homie and shit. Like, oh, but God, my nigga, my bad. <laughs> shit. Right. So, I mean, you know, shit. Um, I went up there, you know, I had... 
I had one of my crib homies with me, you know what I'm saying, from Mona Park, you know what I'm saying? So I go up to the to the, to the next little function. You know, we remember we was riding around a short segment, right. you know, I squash that shit or whatever. You right, know? right, right. So I'm like, you know, I go up there with uh with, with Prophet. Remember, remember Prophet yeah, from, yeah, from LA? Yeah. <laughs> I had that nigga the pencil say, nigga, if it go down. Right. Be ready. Exactly. That nigga called me one day and said, nigga, that's when I knew you was crazy. Straight up. Nigga said, you walked me up in there and gave me the pistol and said, if it go down, nigga, <laughs> just get it. <laughs> and the pistol, nigga, fuck that. Yeah. I'm from Hayward, nigga. I feel like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a rapper. Like, come on, man. You know, I got I got a complex. I got a yeah. Hayward rapper complex. So Straight the fuck up. Well, that's nigga you want to fuck with. Um, <coughs> got a rep Hayward have? They Me? I'm the rep. I'm Spice One. <laughs> That's the nigga shirt that I'm motherfucker to the haystack. Why that you tripping? Why you tripping off Hayward? No, because, because Hayward be was shit. not Oakland. Hayward, oh, you know what? <laughs> It'd be crazy, <laughs> man. And we love Oakland. I came here first. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from, yeah. I'm from nigga, fuck that. I'm from the town. I just moved to Hayward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't ever get it twisted. But Hayward you know wasn't, Hayward wasn't a city where people claimed mm -hmm. they were from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember you that. Even had to, I'm telling you, you even had to say, though, man, I gotta call this motherfucking city something else, like the Haystack. Yeah, so shit. we call it the Stack. That nigga you know started calling the it the boys. Haystack. He started that shit. <laughs> he was the Stack know what I'm Boys, saying? man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, most definitely. Shit, we had to have some kind of swag to it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> stack Boys, nigga, we, we out here in the, in the, in the Haystack, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Shout out man. to G-Nut, all the 187 fact, you know what I'm saying? With some, with, some solid dudes, though. Mm. With some solid dudes. You got some real motherfuckers from everywhere. I don't give a fuck where you from, man. And I'd have been in several different prisons <coughs> and several different cities and some states. And you got some fake niggas everywhere. Yeah. And you got real cats everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? And it depends on what you gravitate to. If you gravitate to that fake shit, then that's who <laughs> you are. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, I, I just want to address... I want to address... <clears throat> Every nigga that's from Hayward talking about they from Oakland. I'm from Hayward, nigga. <laughs> Represent that shit. Don't be out here with no fake ass. I'm from Oakland ass, nigga. You, if you from Hayward, nigga, represent the stack, nigga. Put. I went to Japan. They said you from Hayward. I said yeah, nigga. <laughs> Straight up. And I, that ain't no bullshit. So yeah. all my niggas from Hayward, I went to Japan, and they said you from Hayward. <laughs> I said yeah, nigga. I'm from Hayward, nigga. You feel me? So I mean, you know, hey, exactly, that from shit, way man. back. How you gonna be a real hey, nigga? You can't represent where you really from, though. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. you know how we used to get out on Tyrell, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get it fucked up. You know, a, a lot of Palmasia boys, Palmasia boys, K Hill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it ain't no, it ain't no secret. You know, um, I fuck. I, I come out here to the to the. I used to steal cars and drop them off to my niggas out here in the town. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I got this motherfucking car just stole. Y'all can get with what the fuck y'all need. Up Let me tell y'all a story right quick. So <laughs> I hadn't seen Chico in a long time, right? Chico, if nobody know, that's that's the nigga. That's the nigga name, Robert Green Chico. <laughs> you know, so Spice One is rap name. Fanny Chico from yeah. the Bay. Yeah. So I'm riding down one of those one of the most notorious blocks in my hood, legendary 23rd Ave. I always remember this. I see a tall nigga with a fila sweatsuit on. And, and I'm looking up saying, nigga, that's, that's Chico. Oh, yeah, I remember that shit, nigga, too. I, yeah. hit the, I said, man, <laughs> I said, what you, I come back around, this nigga on 23rd selling crack. <laughs> I say, what is you doing out here, man? I said, man, I'm trying to get some money, man. I'm like, man, is you serious, man? He was like, man, hold on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nigga spit some rocks out his mouth. I say, nigga, if you don't get in the car, he got, he got to call me. We went to 25th, oh, man. Shit. We kicked it. We kicked it for a minute. He was like, man, I'm missing money like a motherfucker. Yeah, I, I would have dropped him back over there. He was, um, he was fucking with June, I think I was it was. Fucking with the mom. No, no, no. Which mom you was fucking with? June. June. Was June. Yeah. Yeah. You was fucking with. We went June. to Hayward High, so he was with the Hayward oh. High. Oh. I seen him up there. He was like, he was like, hey, nigga, come to Twenty Third. He was like, make a song about Twenty Third. So then you got now you got City Streets. 
Right. So I made the song "City Streets" about twenty third. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, and next thing you know, I'm on. I'm in. I'm in. The, I'm in the twamps like getting it in. Like nigga, this is my nigga. You know, I fuck with my, my guys. Fancy, man, I say this nigga really out here selling crack, man. <laughs> in the murder dubs. In the murder dubs. <laughs> Like for real, I'm like, okay. and they don't let they don't do. They wasn't just letting the motherfucker get down like that either. You couldn't no, just you go down come, over there and you know, get you down. Come. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say one of the most notorious, one of the most notorious blocks in the hood, 23rd. Yeah. You couldn't just, just get out there. And they was like, do up. your thing, no, nigga. You got that motherfucking you city streets. <laughs> Legit, I don't give a fuck where you was from. You couldn't come to the 20th. Nah, just hell no. Nah. Motherfucking dope. Hell no. Nah. You just show me love. But when I seen you out there. I said, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is this the twilight? I needed that shit though. I was, I was, I was broke to the motherfucker, so I went out there and got it in. So you know, shout out to them niggas, man. You know, straight up, real spit. You know, I needed that shit. It was cranking over there, huh? (laughs) Hell yeah, it was cracking like a motherfucker. (laughs) I come over there and leave my stolen cars, man. Y'all niggas go up there and do that shit. I'm about to go that back down the block. We was ass. We was was really assholes, dude. We doing some dumb shit. It's what if time? Oh, okay. We got a question. We got a question. What if you won the lottery for four hundred million? What would be the first thing you did? Go get my mama. <laughs> shit. Go get my mama and go put her in a in a in some shit that in a Batman mansion. Shit. Straight up. Hell yeah. First move. Put go get my mama and put her in Bruce Wayne mansion. <laughs> the first thing you do is go get your mom. The first thing you would buy is a house for your mom. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Wayne man. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotta be Batman shit. Bruce Wayne Mansion. Mom's <laughs> gonna be up there. So here's another one. One more question. If Beyonce called you <laughs> and said, I'm tired of Jay Z shit, what you doing tomorrow? <laughs> what would you do? Man, Beyonce would be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be pregnant in about a week. Had some days. little chicos. Yeah, she'd be pregnant. <laughs> little chico. She'd little get chico. some of this Hayward dick. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be pregnant as hell. Haywire. Hey, she'd come with that Haywire. <laughs> some of that Haywire. <laughs> Sorry, Jay Z, but hey, man, you know, it is what it is, Pimpin. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, we just we just wanted to come with some flair right quick, just to, <laughs> some different shit. You know, they just I like asking them type of questions because you never know what a motherfucker would do in in, in a certain in certain situation, situations, in man, certain situations know. though. You know Shit. what I mean? Yeah, man. But um, listen. So you live in Vegas now. Yeah, yeah. You live in Vegas now. Do it. Is how is the music business in Vegas? Like, what is the what is the mu- music scene like there out there in Vegas? Do you get shows out there, or or you just live out there? I kind of just live out there, you know. Um, it's crazy because, uh, you know, I go to um, I go to Germany and uh, something, and, and can barely walk down the street without signing an autograph. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and um, come back to Vegas, and you know, they do a big show around the corner with everybody, and I'm like, I'm not in it, and I'm like, I'm feeling some kind of way. Like, hold on. Like they don't know I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Go where so, you celebrate it, not tolerate it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's what it is, you know. Yeah. Um, Vegas is is not really a, a hip hop. Um, I tell people community. that all the time. So it's kind of hard for you to, you know, do things in there. Man, know? I tell people that all the time. People yeah. are like, man, I'm finna go pursue my music career in Vegas. in Vegas. I say, take this dirt with you, yeah, cause you're gonna <laughs> bury that motherfucker yeah, for real. Cause they ain't really too much <laughs> hip hop shit going on out there, you know they. They um, try to you know they don't really want motherfuckers out there like that. But the cold part about it is, it's the uh, second uh, uh, biggest uh, black community, growing black community in the nation right now. Like yeah. there's so many black people out there, it's ridiculous. I drive around like damn, you know, you was out there. You, I, I know you had a trip a few Come times. On, like man. damn, yeah, well, yeah I, I, I come from? but so I had no you know, idea, dear. That there was that ghetto out in that motherfucker. Yeah, there's that many black Part people the out there. Street. Man, yeah, it's, 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 it's so ghetto. Down. It's so much. Look, if you go by the casinos and go to the back of the casinos, 
Yeah. That's where all the ghetto was at. Yeah, it's, it's hood all you back know, there. It's all hood back like, there. Like, don't drive around that motherfucker at night. Like, the last yeah, exactly. place you want to, yeah. especially to stop. Like, yeah. nah, wrong, wrong idea. So, Spice, why do you feel like it's more love, that you get more love in other countries than here at home? I mean, because, you know, it's it's crazy because, um, you know, um, Shit, when I landed, in, I landed in Japan. They was that they was at the fucking airport like I was Michael Jackson or something. You know, they was like, they had all my old school tapes and all my CDs, and they were standing there with signs and posters and Spy One and Spy One and, and, and Bow and shit. You know, and it, it was like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then you, you know, you, like I said, I come back here and walk through Walmart. Motherfucker don't know who I am. They walk right past me. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 just weird though. It's weird yeah. as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know I go to Germany and, and I do a show and, and and um I go to Germany and I do a show and, and it's like you know I, I'm I'm like tripping on a promoter like damn he got this big ass uh, venue and 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 you know it's like three thousand people venue. And I'm like, you know, he's gonna lose money. You know what I'm saying? So, but then you I got it yourself. I come there and it's it's just Spice One and and, and, and some local acts. And then he filled the whole three thousand uh, person venue up, um, and had to turn people away. You know what I'm saying? Like they overpacked and cr- so it's it's a trip when you come back here and um, you know you do a show and it's like two or three hundred people there and shit, but. The cold part about it is I do a show and it's like two or three hundred people there and it's a big venue. But these people, some people drive like for like miles, like a long way to come see a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like they done drove three or four hours to come see me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even though it's only three or four hundred people here, the people that are here drove miles to come see me. So I, I perform wait. anyway. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, couldn't wait to, to come see you. Got, you have a fan base out here, but what do you think your biggest fan base is? Overseas, um, yeah, pr- well, probably overseas, but but um, definitely um, in the in the Midwest and um, in, in really you know California. Um, if you were to look at your south, analytics down south and stuff, if you were to look at your analytics and say, okay, where am I streaming more? That would probably be you know. Let me um, up everybody. You know, you know, you know, you got two Spotify's, right? If you're an artist, yeah, you yeah, got your, you got your, both your artist Spotify, and you got and your, you got you know. your regular Spotify. So I, I go to my uh, my artist Spotify, and you it know, shows your analytics, yeah, what you're streaming, and it, it's crazy because you know you 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 look in and and you see, um, all of the songs that I, I these are the songs I want to perform when I uh, do my shows. And um, it's so many, you know, like, so if I do a show and I don't sing the song you're looking for, man, don't be mad because it's like, <laughs> it's so many songs, you know, it's, it's you got to think it's so many albums and so many songs, even, and they go back to all the way to the 90s. You know, I, I, yeah. I'm damn near ready to challenge any rapper out here who got the biggest, ca- who got a bigger catalog, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah sh- so what song are you going to do for sure? Definitely one eight seven proof. That's gonna yeah. always be in the in the mix. And, and um, welcome to the ghetto. Those two are always gonna be in the mix. What about I got five on it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know I gotta do that. You know, um, right? Because I'm representing. Do you do ever do jealous got me strapped without without pop? Um, I I, I let his verse play. Okay. You know, um, I definitely do jealous got me strapped. Um, but it's like. The um the I'm losing it song on the on the last album uh on the uh, Are You Still Down album I be wanting to do that too you know so it's like a few songs I want I did with Pac that I want to record I be want to perform right yeah no doubt about it like we got like seven I can do I can I can put out a whole uh, at least an EP with just songs with me and me and Tupac on there so stuff they ain't never heard. Or yeah, have they all been released. It's, it's some unreleased. It's some unreleased songs. Um, I'm sitting on right now. Let me now. get down. <laughs> <laughs> you work with a lot of artists. You never know. Your, you never know the answer yeah, unless you ask the yeah. fucking question. What was your um, favorite collab? You might say here, though. <laughs> well, um, definitely uh, my favorite collabs was was with man. You know, it was it was it was it was definitely it was Tupac, but 
it was it, it was just Roger, Roger Troutman was like some whole other other shit. Like Roger Troutman to to do the song with him was like, you know, man. You got some major features mm -hmm. though. Like right now, you got one with Rick Ross. I just heard. Yeah. You did the one with Snoop. Y'all finally got one in. Yeah. Sickening. Um, who? I said it's sickening. Yeah. So, that shit. That shit is dope. Yeah. And then, yeah. um, who, who you was talking about? Hmm? Who you were saying he had? Oh, I, that was in the past. I was just talking about Killer Tay shit and, and, and the old shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 something, something, <laughs> something else they could look for. No, it, was, it was, it was so, who? That's the disgusting. Oh, now that's oh, the no. shit right there. That's the motherfucking disgusting. If they, if they look uh -huh. for, for uh, the album Platinum OG, it's kind of like a, a sleeper. Like a lot of people slept on the album. Platinum OG, right? So Platinum OG hit iTunes at number 11. Mm -hmm. Independently. So I mean, you know, if, if you slept on Platinum on OG, there? man, it's a song, it's songs on there with me and, Sh me and Too Short and, and Pimp C. Um, all the Outlaws, Dead and Alive. Like mm -hmm. it's just a lot of features on there. Yeah. Uh, Big Psych, everybody on there, man. It's like a me and uh, Corrupt and and and, and uh, Devin the dude got tracks on there. It's called Platinum OG. So if you slept on it, man, go uh, go check that out when you when you get the chance. Platinum OG, you you'll definitely like that. It's, it's some shit, you know. Especially the song with me and Too Short and um and um and Pimp C. Like that's that's really go, you know you that's a rewinder. So once again, I want to ask you this question because I want to I want to ruffle some feathers. <clears throat> Who would you call out in the verses right now? Shit, man, that's 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 a crazy question because it's like I, anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I y'all hear put what my the fuck you said? Against anybody? Anybody? You know I say, like, I say, Buster Rhymes. We coming to get your ass, Buster. Yeah, you want to talk I, all that shit? You can't fuck with Spice One, nigga. The giggity, giggity, Buster. You know, Buster, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's never been. Tell me how fuck all that friendship. You, we be but friends after work. Buster know what's <laughs> We be friends <laughs> after work. You cannot fuck with Spice One, man. I know you got hits, nigga. It's all good. You raw as a motherfucker. You one of my favorite guys too, though. But anyway. Can't fuck with Spice One. Any, Versus anybody who, who, with Buster Rhymes coming soon with Spice One. Anybody Let's who got happen. any doubts about me, man, you ain't you just go listen to the catalog, and maybe you you know it is what it is, man. Go go listen to the catalog. Oh, now nah, he had East Garfield. You know, up. listen to the catalog, man. Yeah. You know the flows is. I mean, face, from, from face my nigga too. To, That'd be I mean, a good it's, one. It's a lot of different shit. Face going his on. cousin. Yeah, Scarface my cousin, so you know it's it's. You know, it's shit. I, I don't know but, what to say. That's my guy. I can see you more with doing going against Buster. Yeah, it would be Buster for me. Up. It would be Buster for me. And I mean, you know, because the 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 the, the, the way Buster is saying that nobody can fuck with him, nobody want to do a verses with him, uh, and this that and the other though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying right now, we got somebody to say, "Come on, Buster." Buster. Yeah, because. What it is right now? You know, he, he, he <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot of artists, they have songs that, that you know, that everybody know that, you know, they, they sing it with him. But, you know, it's like, you know, okay, let me let me throw some of my shit up in here. That motherfuckers ain't, ain't really heard, you know. Let me let y'all know what my flow really is. You even, know with your, even with your hits, though. Your hits. Even with the hits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a, a long, you know. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's, 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 it's been a lot, you know, as far as even the movie soundtracks from... It, you know what? You know what's, what's crazy to me. The triggers when, got no. When, 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 when any, you know, I'm watching any, any, anybody. I'm, I'm saying this as the East Bay gangster. Anybody else who mentioned the Bay Area rappers and don't mention Spice motherfucking one, mm. nigga, your body. You at your motherfucking body. Nigga, the only nigga that ever made a, a rap about alcohol and... and, oh, and don't ever have, mention on, any Bay Area rappers do, without he did, mentioning he did, Spice motherfucking one. Proof. You would have to be yes. not knowing what the fuck you talking about or crazy. One 187 proof and 187 pure. 
Yeah, it's, it's check it out. The the the, <laughs> the, the 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 way you feel, the the disrespect about that shit is 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 ridiculous. Hey, first West Coast Wu Wu Tang appearance. I mean, you got the the only the only West Coast artist on a Wu Tang greatest hits. Like as far as That's movie what about. movie soundtracks with, um, and, and, and platinum Hunter records, Man. all of that shit. Yeah, uh, it's like man, you know. Um, you, I, I, I would feel some kind of way, you know, yeah, if yeah. a motherfucker mentioned Bay Area rap artists and don't mention Spice One. So, for all my motherfuckers who really know what it is, check a nigga. If he say, if he start mentioning Bay Area rap artists and don't say my name, man, either slap that nigga or tell him what it is. <laughs> okay, so listen, we gonna get ready to sign up out of this thing, man. We <laughs> no appreciate slapping. you coming. Let us know what you got for him to go get <laughs> right now. What you got coming? Your your Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, um, um, all that TikTok. Only, fr only friends. What you call that shit? MySpace. TikTok. What you call that one? Only uh, only, only fans. fans. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got my only fans yet, but you know when I when I do it, you know what I'm saying. You know, I'll let y'all know. It. Let them know what you got though, big dog. Hit hit me up on hit me up on Instagram as the real spice one. You'll see the blue check on there. So is my um. My uh, my Twitter is uh, the real spice one. You'll see the blue check mark on on both of those, and, and uh, so is my my Facebook. You know, my Facebook is is my my real name is Robert Green. I know everybody knows that. You know, shit. You know, it's all on the Green back of my with the E records. on the end. Yeah, you know, no, no, no E on the end. Just, That's how you really spell your name, though. Yeah, you know, we, we had to. <laughs> oh, we had to, we had to switch. All it right, up. Take that back. Take that back. <laughs> all right. Yes, no doubt about it, man. So once again, man. We brought you a great entertaining show. And if it wasn't entertaining to you, then fuck you. You missed. Let's check this out. We're going to keep on coming with the heat, man. And you know how we're going to keep on doing it. You dig, and I can dig it, can you? So we're going to sign out. You guys make sure that you guys go subscribe, man. And we have fun today. Go subscribe, yeah, go like, go comment, you know, comment tell your share. Friend. You know what I mean? And, and, and do all the things that are necessary for us to continue to prosper and grow and develop and uh, be great. Absolutely. Can you dig it? Can you dig it?